Um, so we're going to graph these and solve by graphing. Um, so for our lesson here today, um, I have all the, a lot of the problems here are going to kind of be a special case. And so that means that they might be a little bit kind of a weird answer. We talked about these a few times, but it also is going to allow us to review um, the different types of solving and determining which way makes the most sense. Focus up here, please. So we need to get our y alone in both of these cases. So when we solve by graphing, we need our equation to be y equals mx plus b. So this top equation, we need to get that y alone. So thoughts on what we need to do first? What's that? I probably wouldn't divide first. Yeah, I'd probably move that x over first. So I have 3y equals, and then I'm going to put that x first, the negative x, minus 6. Now to get the y alone, I would divide. So I'm going to divide by 3. But I have to divide every single part by 3. So my first equation here is going to be a negative x over 3, which we'll talk about. But then negative 6 over 3 is going to be a negative 2. So we're going to go to graph that. And where are we going to begin on our graph? Negative 2. So we're going to begin this graph at negative 2. And then we have to do our slope, which the slope is what's ever in front of x. So that's a negative x over 3, so like a negative 1x over 3. So a negative 1 over 3 is my slope. So I'm going to go downhill here and go back the other direction, and we get our line drawn. Now we need to graph the other equation. This one we need to divide by 6. We're going to divide everything by 6. So I get y equals a negative 2 over 6, negative 2x over 6, and then this is going to be plus 3. Now you could realize you could simplify that. It doesn't hurt though if you don't. So we're going to begin at 3 this time. But then when I go to go down 2 and over 6, now just notice that is the same thing as negative 1 over 3. Kind of trying to point that out. But um, if I go down 2 and over 6, I'm going to be running, we say parallel, oops, that's too far over, parallel to this other line. Because down 2 and over 6 is the same thing as down 1 and over 3. So this idea with our lines that are parallel, what's our solution for this? We say there's no solution. They'll never cross. They'll never have anything in common. So there's no answer for these two. So I could look. I could keep drawing these lines forever, and they're never going to cross. So we would say that's no solution. That's one of our special cases we're going to deal with today. But it's also good for us to review graphing. Now the next couple of problems that we're going to do, um, again, really we're not doing other than some word problems. We're not going to really do much new today. Um, but we're going to notice that I'm going to try to give you guys less guidance on knowing what, what type of problem to do. So um, our next one here, let's see if I can navigate this. So I'm hoping you look at this problem and have an idea of what you think we should do with it. So it says to solve. It doesn't tell us what method to use. And I hope, like I said, I hope you're starting to kind of be like, oh, that's set up nicely for this type of problem. Anyone have a thought on which way you would use to solve? Yep. Yeah, I think substitution, this one would work really nicely. The reason I don't think it would be a good one for elimination is it's not lined up. But substitution, this y is already alone. So I like this problem for substitution because the y is already alone. I don't have to worry about that step. Let's take 
notes, please. And if we know what the y is, we can just substitute that in in place of our y there. So I put that in place of our y with parentheses. And now we're going to solve this new equation. We're going to distribute, combine like terms. And again, remember the title of this section is special cases. So this is another unique one. Now in this case, the 12 X's, right? So I hope you're noticing the 12x's, 12x minus 12x is going to cancel. I'm going to be left with negative 4 equals a negative 6. That doesn't make any sense. So losing $4 is the same thing as losing $6. Like no, that doesn't make, that's not true. Um, it's, it's not far, but, um, and I look at um, Tegan's, he like had moved one of those values over and he got like 0 equals 2, his is also not true. So we get a false statement. This is where we say it's no solution again. So again, a lot of the problems we're going to do today are going to be these unique ones that I want to make sure you're watching out for. I'm going to tell you guys, this comes up a lot less frequently, though like it's not like there's going to be a whole worksheet of no solution answers. Okay? We're going to do this one, and then once we're going to take a break. Part of our break is going to be a scrimmage, but then we'll have like a regular break as well. Um, but this next problem is trying to get you guys to see that, um, like again, trying to decide what method we're going to use. And this is the new method we learned last class. So those of you guys who were gone last class or didn't do well in last um, section, this, and this is part of what we're going to be scrimmaged on today. So, if you notice, we have the x's lined up, the y's lined up, the equal signs lined up. Since everything's nice and lined up, I'm going to suggest to do elimination. And hopefully you were thinking the same thing. Now with elimination though, what we learned last class, if nothing cancels the way it is, so negative, eight and po or negative 18 and positive 3 won't cancel, 6 and negative y won't cancel. We can choose to multiply one of the lines by something to make it cancel. Any thoughts on what we could do? Yeah, go ahead. The uh, right side of the equal sign. No, like either the top or bottom equation. Bottom one. Bottom one by what? By <coughs> six. You think six? Yeah. I think six would be good. So we're going to multiply the bottom row by 6. Now what we're, the reason we're multiplying by 6 is because that actually makes both of these match. And again, another unique problem here. So I'm going to rewrite this top one. So the bottom is going to become a positive 18x. This one's going to become a negative 6y, and then we're going to get a negative 12. So when we go to add these, they're going to cancel, but probably a little bit too much might consider to be canceled in this case. So kind of a weird. Both of these cancel. So what does that mean about the left side of the equation? It's 0. Equals 24 minus 12. 12. Does 0 equal 12? No. So again, this is another no solution. They're not all going to be, but they happen to both be in this case. I'm definitely going to show you guys some that are other types. Um, but we're going to take another, or we're going to take a little break here to do a scrimmage on this type. Um, so 